Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Got a quick video for you today, but I had to share something that I just learned with all my subscribers. So a little while back, I did a video about this amp right here. This is the Wong's Mini 5 5 watt all tube guitar amp. And it has 12AX7, 12AX7, 12BH7, and 6Z4 tubes in it. And um, I'll go ahead and link that video in the description if you're curious, but I don't necessarily want to talk about the amp today. Instead, I want to talk about that 6Z4 tube. So I've got a box of vintage NOS tubes, and I looked in the box, and sure enough, I've got an RCA 6Z4, and hopefully you can see that on the video. But this is a vintage 6Z4 tube, and so I pulled it out, I was like, cool! And here it is. And you know, I'm not gonna grab the amp again, but this thing is bigger than the, the whole amp almost. So you're thinking that that doesn't look right. That's not gonna fit. So um, instead of grabbing the amp again, I happen to have one of the tubes that's in the amp right here. Let me grab that one. Both of these are 6Z4 tubes. And I'm looking at these going, what? What is going on here? There's no way that these are the same tube. Now I'll get a couple pictures, uh, stills to put in there where you can actually see the writing on the tubes, but they are both branded as 6Z4 tubes. So what is going on here? Why, how are these both 6Z4 tubes, you know? What the heck is going on here? Well, so I did some research. Okay, so this tube here matches the pinout and specs and everything of a Russian tube called a 6C4P, okay? And um, you can find the spec sheet for that online. I, I went ahead and looked that up. But that tube then matches almost identically to this tube here, which is the American 6Z4. So basically, a Russian 6C4P is more or less identical to an American 6Z4. Okay, so when the Chinese started using these in some of their electronics, they started making them in China. You know, so this is a modern tube that you can buy today, whereas this is a vintage tube. There aren't, you know, any more of these other than what's out there. So they branded it as a 6Z4. So that's why there are two different uh, tubes with the same designation. Now, reportedly, and again, I haven't done this myself, but from what I've seen on web forums and such, there are people that say that they've changed out the base and they can take a modern uh, electronic like that tube amp I just showed you and change it out to a vintage base like this and just put this tube in it and it will work flawlessly. Um, or vice versa, if you had an old radio or something and you couldn't find these, but you could find these, you could swap it out and um, make it work. Now you're probably saying, how can that be possible? This has five pins, this has seven. But if you look at the spec sheets on these, this only uses five of the pins, two of the pins do not get used. So literally inside, they're doing the same thing. They're both dual diode tubes, which are gonna work great for rectifiers or you know a handful of other uh, things that you can do with a diode. There you go, that was news to me. I was impressed, I didn't realize there were two different types of tubes with the same designation. I was surprised. I couldn't find any videos on it, so I figured I had to make one. But again, these are both 6C4 tubes. Internally, they're about the same, but as you can see, not necessarily interchangeable. There you go, guys. Decided to share that with all of you. I hope that's helpful for someone. If you like what I do on this channel, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.